This is our first international trip in two and a half years, so we're really excited. We brought Toby with us. <laughs> Finally warming up. Oh. Okay guys, it's our last few moments in the cloud forest. This is their yard dog, Jackie. She's really sweet. She pretends to be a guard dog. So I was just saying bye. Bye Jackie. The jiggle book. All right, guys, so we've had an awesome time in the cloud forest. It is time to head out. And of course, since we're heading out, it's beautiful weather. We have dealt with, what, 10 hours of rain a day. Mm -hmm. And today is the first warm, sunny, dry day. And the snakes are probably gonna be everywhere tonight. We hiked. The mammals are gonna be everywhere. They're probably yeah. gonna be like on our balcony. Yeah, we saw some great stuff. We saw spider monkeys, we saw... Howlers, kinkajou, uh, a trail camera that I thought was a jaguar. <laughs> a tyra, uh, Bothricus lateralis. <laughs> Uh, we got a Sorophiodon. We saw some really cool stuff, and I'm sure there's going to be tons more to come back and see someday. We are definitely coming back to Panama sometime soon. So this is our trek out of the cloud forest. It's beautiful. The birds have been spectacular, and Taylor's right. so sick. Here, look. This is my new girlfriend. Look at it. It's beautiful. Or girlfriend. <laughs> wife. My new <laughs> wife. Too. So we're headed down to the Panama Canal, uh, lower elevation. Hopefully it'll be warmer. There'll be more reptiles. We are in search of the Geoffrey's tamaran. Yes. Similar to the cotton top tamaran, but a smaller mohawk. Yes, and we had told you guys we wanted to show you tamaran, so hopefully we can do that. In the wild, it was a dream to put it on YouTube and find them, so let's do it. My tips are jiggling so hard. <laughs> I really hope a cool snake doesn't cross our path. US prices, this would probably be about, because it's pretty heavy, it's about 15 or so dollars. This was a dollar. A dollar for all this. What are you doing? Why are you being creepy? Is it good? Feed me, feed me one. What? You're not going to give me any? I bought those. I paid two dollars. Okay. Yo, there's, is that pee dripping on me? We just made it over to the canal. We have literally been driving for what, nine hours? Yeah. Something, over nine hours. So we're gonna do some cruising, some shining, see what we can find. Taylor is tired and grumpy. No, I'm awake. <laughs> She's not awake. All right, we're gonna do some cruising while she naps, and then uh, we'll get out and do some night hiking, see what we can find. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Don't tell Taylor. The one thing she's afraid of, la cucaracha. It's a huge one, look at that. It's like, all right Taylor, show us what you got. A Jesus lizard. Jesus lizard. And he grew his tail back with a little additional tail. Oh, it's turning into a two-tailed lizard. Here, hold that out and show us. So this is a Jesus Christ lizard, also known as a brown basilisk. This is a species that we have in Florida that's not native and uh, becoming quite common. Uh, but this is where they're native to. All right, well, I go let them go. And they get their name Jesus Christ Lizard because they... Walk on water. Tay, you just broke our, what is this, third day without a snake? And we're continuing at the Florida Special with a Brahmini blind snake. Look at him opening his mouth. You can't see it. Wait, no. Hold on. And the blind snakes, they are parthenogenic. They're self-reproducing females. They lay self-fertilized eggs. Super cool, Tay. Yeah, let him go. 
Everybody honks at us because they think Tay's Tay's hot. Wait, uh, what is that? Hold on. What is this? Is this a vine or a snake? Hold on, let me. All right, hold on. What is? It? Oh, vine snake. Oh. Oh. What? I totally thought it was a vine. It didn't even like set in that it wasn't no. a vine. This is a brown vine snake. And these guys have got a little tiny rear, oh, he's got a lizard in his stomach. Little tiny <laughs> rear fangs. And these are, my oh, slinging musk. Uh, this is uh, obviously a snake that's really good at camouflaging. I told you, I'm still kind of shocked that this was actually a snake. How do we just catch a, a blind snake and a vine snake? <laughs> he's musking all over I me. I could smell it. It might be my blind snake moth. Taking it. footage is pretty impossible, but I'm trying. Here, I'll try and keep my hands still. There he goes. So I handed the vine snake to Taylor because she is much more the gentle, hold still snake whisperer than I am. These guys camouflage like vines and they prey on lizards. Then they bite them with their little rear fangs. And then they swallow them down home. Look how slender and long this snake is. It's unbelievable. Oh man, I thought we were going to be snakeless forever. What? Some sort of mammal? So cool. That's a paca. A paca is a large nocturnal rodent. They're closely related to agoutis. There we go. Oh wait. Red-eyed tree frogs are one of the most iconic animals of the Americas. Their bright eyes aid in seeing at night and also help to scare off potential predators. Despite being bright and colorful, they're actually not poisonous like many of the other species of frogs here in Panama. A part of their scientific name derives from the Greek word meaning beautiful. So cool, we finally got to see some of these. I heard him hit it. Oh, sorry. Bummer. Not what we wanted to find. Dead coral snake. Looks like it was hit earlier in the night. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's a Central American coral snake. Bummer. There he is. He's dark. Taylor is saving every red-eyed tree frog she can. She absolutely loves them and they're all over the road tonight. Bummer. A D-O-R Halloween snake. Sad. Finally. Oh my gosh, he is so cute. I love baby boas. One cool thing about the baby boas is they don't really ever try to bite unlike baby Burmese pythons. <laughs> One big difference between boas and pythons. Boas give live birth. Pythons lay eggs. Live bearing animals like this is called ovoviviparous. Pythons, it's called oviparous. Man, this just looks so cool in your hands. I know it's a common pet store animal, but finding wild boas where they're native is just freaking incredible. Go see a picture and let him go. Right, continue your life, baby boa. Oh my gosh, it is so cute. We just found a baby crocodile. We thought it was a caiman, but it's the tiniest crocodile. He's crossing this road right here in Panama by the canal. We're gonna move him across and uh, try and put him with his family if we can find him. This is an American croc. How freaking amazing. Hey guys, I cannot believe we literally just found the tiniest crocodile ever. Tay, what do you think? He is literally so cute. 
I cannot freaking believe it. All right, we're gonna walk him across the street uh, where he was headed and see if we can find his family and reunite them. Just definitely not what we expected to see, but such a good little surprise. Just make sure the mama truck doesn't get you. All right, guys, we, we walked him across the busy road and to the body of water he was headed to. Oh, sorry, bud. Get in. Get, get, get. Here, tell you how that is. There he is. Look at that. Happy little croc. Right in the middle. So happy that guy didn't become a pancake. That would have been a horrible Dior to find. We found the Dior boa right next to him. I couldn't imagine finding a Dior baby crocodile. Look, there she is. Oh, let me take the lens cap off. All right, guys. Uh, we're going to balance out of here. Uh, if you can see straight through there, right as we put the baby croc in, and it started splashing around, that mom came shooting over from in the back. So uh, now that they're back together, we're going to leave them alone. Can you see the eye shines right there? It's hard to see. I don't know if I'm catching them in the camera. She's right. All right let's just go. She's coming over.